Hey guys, welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I've only been in the new house literally for two weeks and I'm bringing you the third mount. So, do you know what? The grind is going well while I'm here. Um, so this one's from doing the Pixie Tribe um, Beast Quest. When you've got the last one and you achieve the achievement Forever Young, you get the Portly Porksy. A <laughs> prodigious Porksy created by the new Mu Lug Enk for transportation purposes. Fond of sausages. <laughs> So is my husband. It off spends its free time in the curing chamber and thus has come to take on the aroma. While comfortable to ride. Oh, curing! Oh, I get it now. Okay. I get it. While comfortable to ride thanks to its soft curves, expect regular rumblings from its belly. And this one does have as well a action as well. So we go. Um, so if I do that. I like the way it all eyes cl close. And this is great, this is actually an action you can do in midair as well. Uh, I've already changed the music as you can see, you don't get... I wonder if you'd kind of get special fairy music. I love the way this little snout just sort of twitches non-stop. I won't lie, every time I ride this mount, I think of Dumbo. I think it's because the ears are the wings. But instead of being an elephant, you get a little piggy. Um, I'm sorry for having to ride it in the same area as the last mount I unlocked just because it's night time and of course this is the only area where actually it will always be daylight no matter what the time so yes yeah, so this is a really fun mount really cute really adorable um i know quite a few people who do actually love pigs say so me and my husband we both love sausages so uh, <laughs> it kind of pays off but um yeah the only thing i don't like about it i'm not overly fond of undersized mounts um it's like i love the carbuncle but i hate that i'm a little uh, kind of a bit too big for it but if not it'd be a very oversized bit of bacon so um so, yeah but other than that it's a really adorable little amount um uh trade in value i think it was it cost me 18 to get it hold me to that so basically um as you're leveling up through the quest you can get all the items you can get a macaron a macaroon sorry macaroni is a different pasta you can get a macaroon cushion you can get the wind up pixie um you can also get the stuffed porksy and you'll still have enough by the time you've done the final quest to unlock um this mount so but yeah i am very curious as to what beach yeah beast tribe will get next obviously i'm busy joining everyone else in preparing the ish guardian firm firm Firmatives in my mind, but it's not firmative. Do apologise. Um, so it all help in building that, and so I think we're all grinding like crazy to get the gorilla mount. It will be available on the market board, so um, don't worry if you're not a crafter um, or a gatherer. You're just an all-time battler, but you still want to get this gorilla mount. It will be made available once someone has earned enough scripts to sell for it. But please be warned, I bet it's going to sell for loads and loads of money because it's 8,000 and 200, no, 8,400 scripts, sorry, I think. So 800, so 8,200, 8,400. And it's a lot. So whoever gets this mount, if they sell it, it's going to be for a lot of money. So don't expect it to be cheap. Um, but yeah, so um, that mount vid, um, hopefully I'll get it within the next month, all being well. Um, but yeah, but in the meantime guys, thanks for watching um, this vid. And of course, keep watching um, for more vids coming soon. Um, I just want to double check something. Um, yeah, 117, right as well. I just, I just wanted to choose what colour the um, flying was, but... Right, there we go. So, 117 mounts close to the 120. I'm really excited about this. Um, so, but keep watching guys. More vids coming soon. And I'll see you in the next vid.